Nothing quite beats that warm, fuzzy feeling of seeing old Doctor Who companions return all those years later. It's always nice to watch episodes like School Reunion and the Sarah Jane Adventures episode Death of the Doctor, where the companions of old find themselves fighting aliens alongside the Doctor once again. It makes the Doctor Who universe feel bigger and it reminds you of all the people that helped make the show what it is. Companions come and go, but we rarely see what happens to them after they leave, although Big Finish Productions have made lots of stories exploring the fates of companions like Leela, Ace and Romana. But what about those that are still unexplored? Here are three Doctor Who companions that should return for one last adventure. Jamie McCrimmon is the longest serving Doctor Who companion in history, appearing in a staggering 117 episodes of the show, and all but one second Doctor serial. Played by Fraser Hines, Jamie had a very fun and entertaining relationship with the second Doctor, with the two sharing a lot of jokes and banter. Due to being from the 18th century, Jamie often struggled to understand everything he came across in his travels with the Doctor, but his common sense often helped save the day, due to the Doctor and fellow companion Zoe overcomplicating things with their scientific logic. However, in 1969, the main trio of Patrick Troughton, Fraser Hines and Wendy Padbury all decided to leave the show. This departure took place in the season 6 finale, The War Games, with the Time Lords forcing the Doctor to regenerate and returning Jamie and Zoe to their original time periods, wiping their memories of their time with the Doctor. Due to Doctor Who having no set canon outside of the show, there have been a number of conflicting depictions of Jamie's life after The War Games. He was killed off in a Doctor Who magazine comic strip, but in the Big Finish audio The Glorious Revolution, Jamie has his memory returned by a Time Lord agent so that he can resolve an incident during his travels with the Doctor. In the end, Jamie requests that the memories be erased once again, as he doesn't want to feel sad remembering his time in the TARDIS. Because of this ambiguity, it could be quite easy to bring Jamie back onto the show. Personally, I would do it with a story similar to the unmade serial The Laird of McCrimmon which was intended to be Jamie's original departure story. It would be set in Scotland during the early 1800s, where a much older Jamie has become led to his ancestral home of Castle McCrimmon. Remembering him after the Web of Fear, the Great Intelligence would target Jamie, attempting to possess him. The current Doctor would then show up, with the episode focusing around the Doctor's dilemma of whether they should restore Jamie's memory, or leave him to the life he has built. At the end of the episode, Jamie would discover the TARDIS, triggering his memory of his initial encounter with the Doctor in the Highlanders. The Doctor would restore the rest of Jamie's memories, but Jamie stays behind to live out the rest of his life with his people, sharing an emotional goodbye with the Doctor. I feel like this would be the perfect ending for Jamie's character, allowing him to finally remember all the adventures he went on, along with having one final adventure with the Doctor. I won't forget you, you know. I won't forget you. I don't go blundering into too much trouble, will you? Martha Jones is one of the most underrated companions of all time, unfortunately finding herself sandwiched between Rose Tyler and Donna Noble. Portrayed by Freema Adjaman, Martha was a smart, loyal and quick-thinking medical student who appeared in every episode of Series 3, along with five episodes of Series 4 and three episodes of Torchwood. She had an unrequited romantic relationship with the Tenth Doctor, which unfortunately damaged her character, but it provides a great hook for a potential return to the show. Martha is the only main New Who companion so far to leave the TARDIS of her own free will, without dying or being trapped in a different time or universe. In The Last of the Time Lords, she leaves the Doctor due to her feelings, before turning down the offer to return to travelling in the TARDIS at the end of The Doctor's Daughter. Martha's time after leaving the Doctor has been explored both in the show and the Torchwood spin-off, but her ultimate fate is still open-ended, meaning she can come back without much explanation needed. The last we saw of Martha was in The End of Time Part 2, where she is fighting a Sontaron alongside her now-husband, Mickey Smith. I personally believe that Martha's initial exit was mishandled, 
Her exit should have challenged the Tenth Doctor's vanity and personality, as he treated her badly. If I was to bring Martha back, I would focus the episode around this aspect of their relationship, with Martha demanding that the current Doctor apologises for the way the Tenth Doctor treated her. It could even take place directly after Last of the Time Lords explaining why she is so accepting of the Doctor during Series 4. Alternatively, it could be set after the end of time, exploring her efforts to stop alien invasions on her own, and how the Doctor effectively robbed her of being able to live a normal life. There's a lot of leeway with Martha because of her simple exit, much like earlier companions such as Sarah Jane and Joe Grant, who ended up returning to the Doctor Who TV universe long after their departures. I'll see you again, mister. Susan Foreman is one of the most iconic Doctor Who companions, mostly due to the fact that she was the very first. Played by Carol Ann Ford, Susan is the Doctor's granddaughter, although the TV show has never explored or expanded upon her origins. First appearing in An Unearthly Child, Susan was very smart, although she was quick to show fear. The Doctor and Susan were very close and protective of one another which led to her forced departure from the TARDIS being a surprising turn of events. In the Dalek invasion of Earth, the First Doctor locks Susan out of the TARDIS, leaving her to live in the 22nd century with David Campbell, who she had met during the story. Susan later appeared 20 years later in The Five Doctors, but her fate after that is unknown. Big Finish Productions have released a number of audio plays exploring Susan's life before and after her appearances in the show, but her last chronological appearance saw her travelling to take part in the Time War. Due to Susan being a Time Lord, she can return in a number of ways, without even necessarily needing Carol Ann Ford to reprise the role. People have been clamouring for Susan's return for years, and whenever any new character is introduced, there are dozens of fan theories about how it's Susan. Just look at how the fanbase reacted to the Ghost Monuments line about the timeless child. It kind of makes me want them to bring Susan back just to finally get it out of the way and shut people up, honestly. But I wouldn't even know where to start. Even though the show has moved past it, I think the Time War would be the perfect way to bring Susan back for Doctor Who. We could explore the fallout of the Time war, with Time Lords scattered across the universe in hiding. Susan could be a traumatised survivor of the Time War, much like how the Doctors of the New Who era were darker and suffered as a result of the conflict. However, I feel like it would be too predictable for her to be an antagonist, like a lot of people seem to want her to be. It's a big dilemma and it explains why she hasn't been brought back yet, because it's a delicate story that would need a good basis. Those were three former Doctor Who companions I feel should come back for one last hurrah and properly resolve their stories. Unfortunately, we'll never be able to see other companions such as Victoria Wakefield and Liz Shaw properly return, as their actors have unfortunately passed away. But what companions would you like to see return to the show? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.